YouTube, it's me again, it's Jelana, and I'm coming to you with Subby Sunday. Subby, Subby Sunday, Subby, Subby Sunday, Subby, Subby Sunday, Subby Sunday. So my pillow fell off. And also, I have another bag behind me. I'm trying to figure out this lighting situation. It's funny because when I take my pictures with the camera, it seems like it's gonna be okay, and then when I start filming, the light changes. Hold on a second. Okay, I'm not sure if that's any better, but maybe I can tweak it a little bit when I get to the editing part. So I think this is a little bit better um, lighting situation. So you guys, it has been a long day. So I went to work for a half a day. I had some meetings this morning and then my lips are very, very, I put some lip gloss on, but they're very glossy. Um, I had a meeting and a couple of other things to do and then someone retired and there was a party and then I had three doctor's appointments this afternoon. I had a pap smear. This is all ladies. This is all ladies, right? So let's just talk lady to lady. I had a pap smear today. I had a, a regular doctor's appointment because I had this weird skin tag underneath my arm. And so I went from the women's health person building all over to my primary care provider who fro tried to freeze off this little skin tag situation and it's sore and I'm hoping it falls off. She's like, it should fall off. She froze it, blah, blah, blah. Then I went from the primary care provider to my mammogram appointment and had my mammogram. This is my second mammogram. And I have to tell you guys, we shouldn't neglect getting our mammograms, but the one today sucked. I got one, I think you, you, I got one right when I turned 40 and that one was okay. It wasn't that bad. And I was like, oh yeah, no big deal, mammogram. But this one hurt. She took my breasts and said, and then she took them and said, and then like both sides. And then she had me in a weird position. It feels like the other technician was much gentler. And uh, it didn't, it wasn't as traumatic. I feel like a traumatic event happened this afternoon. That was my last appointment of the day, but, um, but they're done. So I'm glad about that. I'm glad to be finished um, and have all of those taken care of. The, the other thing is my primary care provider tried to get me to get a vaccination, some sort of tetanus, whooping cough or something. I said, you know what? And I'm glad I didn't because imagine if I would have gotten the, whooping cough, tetanus shot, and then the mammogram too, I would have been so sad. I probably would have been in tears right now. I just feel traumatized, like I think I said. I feel traumatized, you guys. Like, what did they just do? And why did they treat the girls that way? And then she showed me the pictures that she took. And so I looked at the pictures and everything looked clear. I mean, of course, I'm not a trained technician to read labs or, you know, whatever, but I looked at them and my breasts looked pretty good. I didn't see any weird spots or anything crazy going on. So pray for me that everything was fine. I've got my laptop and I am pulling up my comment section so I can do some shout outs. So what are we gonna do today? So we're gonna do shout outs. Thanks for listening, you guys, to my, my afternoon. It was rough. Um, we're gonna do shout outs, I'm gonna come to talk about some of the comments, and then I'm gonna show you what I got from Avon. And I'm super excited because I've been waiting for this box since Saturday, and it is now, what's today? <laughs> Today's Tuesday. And it's weird because the box came late, it feels like. So anyway, and then my neighbor got it for me because I wasn't home, and then she had it, and I had to get it back from her, and blah, 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 blah. So finally it's here. So I'm excited to open it up and see what's in it. Oop, I just peeked and I really like what I just saw. I think I kind of forgot what I ordered, but just when I just opened it, I remembered some of the things that I ordered. So if you guys recall, last Subby Sunday, I opened my Stitch Fix box. I still have a Wannable box unboxing in the queue. It is recorded and there are pictures of me trying everything on, but I'm gonna put this video up first because I wanna do some shout outs and that one I didn't do any shout outs in that particular video. So I'll get that up. You guys will see what I got from Wannable. It was a fitness unboxing. Long story short, I feel like again, Fabletics is always gonna be the better deal in terms of you get a whole outfit for $49, $59 or $69 and it's usually two or three pieces. Whereas with Wannable, the boxes, 
the pants by themselves can be $59. And so I'd rather go to Fabletics and get both than just one item, if that makes sense. So still shopping. I do need some new workout clothes. So anyway, take a look at that, um, the Wannable unboxing. It's good to know if you aren't interested in joining Fabletics and you want um, that personal styling sort of experience, it might be a good fit for you. I think I wanna try the Wannable Fashion Box or whatever it is that they call that's not the fitness box. But for now, Stitch Fix is enough. And I haven't done a PS by Just Fab unboxing lately. I haven't ordered any of those boxes. I had some technical difficulties, I have to admit to you guys. I've had some technical difficulties with um, the PS by Just Fab boxes. Katrina, my stylist, is awesome, but their IT and technical support desk is spotty, and I haven't had the best experience with them, and so I don't really want to do it until I'm really sure that they're going to give me a good experience. I'm not going to have trouble and problems with coupon codes and that kind of stuff. So I hope they get it together, because I really like my stylist, and I really would like to get another PS by just fat boxes. I have some really cute stuff as of late. So let me go down. So of course there's tons of comments about my stitch fix. What did I keep? I kept the shoes and I kept the black off the shoulder blouse that you could tuck in or you could wear as a tunic. And I do need to go back and add the names of all the items. So I will do that. I'll commit to do that when I'm doing this. If I can even find the envelope. Oh my gosh, you guys. I hope I can find the envelope with the styling card and everything in it. I'm pretty sure I can. And I'll get that all added to that video so you can go back. If you wanted to request some things, you'll have the correct names and the prices. So the shoes ended up, they were $99, but of course you get your $20 styling fee. So I had deducted that from it. And so they ended up being um, $79 instead of $99. And I felt like that was a competitive price. So that's why I kept them. They were super comfortable. And who wants to go out and try to search around for a pair of shoes? It's not the business. They fit. They're comfortable. They're versatile. I wanted to keep them. And then at the last second, I pulled that blouse out. And so I'm still waiting. They're going to have to charge me for that one. I'm still waiting for that. But really, originally, all I was going to keep was the shoes. So, but I still thought it was a great box. I'm still super, super picky. The dress was a little long. It was a little big on me. The periwinkle top was just periwinkle. <laughs> it was periwinkle, you guys. I think I told somebody if it would have been white or cream or ivory or something like that, I probably would have kept it. But the periwinkle. And then the red dress just felt like it didn't really fit me that, that well. And it also, and I've said this before, it felt like I could find a dress that style at Burlington Coat Factory or Ross for probably around $20. And it was $78. So I always have to make those kinds, I have to have that kind of consideration when I'm looking at my boxes. So that's that. All right, so Let's go down, let's go down, let's go down. Sharm, Shauna Carmack, hey, girlfriend. She is so funny. She did some sort of girlfriend tag video, and I need to go back and see what that's all about and see if I need to answer some questions, because I want to answer some questions. Sally Sermon. Sally, how are you doing? Now, Sally won the green cargo jacket that I had to give away a while back, and I need to do another giveaway, so you guys stay tuned for that. I definitely plan to do a giveaway. I was thinking of maybe a Stitch Fix gift card giveaway. What do you guys think about that? Would you be interested in something like that? Leave it in the comments section below. Jennifer Post. Hello. Cranky Grandma. Hope you're having a great summer. Melanie Onofrio, hey, I know, I, I feel like I said that right. So, what's up, girlfriend? She liked the box. Everyone really liked that box. Beauty B, I hadn't seen her in so long, and she is just so fly to me. Kate McKinney, Kelly Hall, Joe C, my fellow friend who was in New Orleans, and I was in New Orleans, but we weren't there at the same time. Butterfly Baby, Amy Jensen, Kay Soden, Yolanda Melky, Bold Creations, Hey Girls, Southern Mail, Samantha Charles, Allison Rose, Lady TW. Oh, you guys, I still have my um, bracelet on from the, um, from the doctor. Mia Kenlani, Jax Bryant, hi, yellow lady. Ashley Kingham, or Lady in Yellow, I should say. Nikki Nick 26, CEC Nurse 1, Jane Garrow. 
Heather Alsberry, Keely Power, Jenny Herzog, Lisa Federera, actor with a day job. So I'm kind of presently, well, I've been obsessed for the past five, or I guess it's four seasons with this show called Power on um, Stars Network. So every summer around this time, the show comes back. And I order stars because I'm cheap and I'm not going to pay for cable year round just for one show. So when stars, so when power comes on, I order stars and I watch the show and it's just like crime and good versus bad and blah, 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 blah. But anyway, actor with a day job uh, does a review for power. So um, I like watching him. So he stopped by to show some support. I appreciate that. Miss Mommy Vera Vera. I am Lady Lux. Hey girl, uh, Shirley Smith, All Stitched Up. All Stitched Up, okay, so I'm gonna do a special shout out for All Stitched Up. She sells Premier Design Jewelry. Check her out, I'm not able to, she wanted to see if I would be able to do like a Facebook, um, a Facebook, what is it called, post, a Facebook party, and I can't do that just because I don't wanna confuse people and what products I'm, Promoting. I promote, promote Avon. I'm all Avon all day long. And Avon sells jewelry. And I also have some other initiatives that I'm going to want to be using my channel for. So I don't want to clog it up with a whole lot of different things. Or not my channel. My channel too, but for, for sure my Facebook page. But I definitely want to give her a shout out. And so if you're interested in jewelry, go check out her channel. Hit her up and um, find out what she's doing with this Premier Designs. It sounds like a really fabulous um, jewelry, and I've seen some of the, some of the pieces that she wears, and they're really, really cute. Nicole Burgess, Tyan Campbell, Susan Reisenthaler, all of these people, all of my favorites, Lisa Beth, Faith Leonard, and Kiana Unique. Kiana, oh my gosh, I love what she's do, she does with her hair, her natural hair, some of the styles she does, and um, some of the DIY stuff she does. If you're into that sort of thing, definitely go check out her channel, Erwina8. KJ Reiki, how you doing, girl? Diane Wheeland, Jenny Herzog, C Mama, Beth Hastings, Rolling Rock Ray, Jasmine Hux, Inspired Mom, love her, Sidonia Baker, that's my niece, Stacy J52. So my niece said that one of my last Subby Sundays that she watched, she said I was cracking her up, and I just had to let her know that since the day she was born. I have been living to make her laugh. <laughs> and it's true. Since she was a little itty bitty baby, came out of her mom's womb and into my arms, <laughs> I have been living to put a smile on her face because I love her so much. So um, definitely wanted to let her know that the tradition continues that I want to make her laugh and giggle. So anything else I wanna say? Oh, so I think it was Faith Leonard wanted to know a little bit about my because I'm I've been dating this guy and she wanted to know what we had done like on first dates and stuff like that and so I shared some things with her in the comments section but essentially we have just been hanging out cooking dinner for each other um watching movies together visiting friends entertaining friends going out to eat going for drives celebrating birthdays and holidays and things like that together. Our very first date was a dinner, well, our very first date was a coffee date. Should I tell you guys how we met? Okay, so so real quick, this is how we met. So I go to the gym every day in another building in my office. And so apparently um, I had been walking by his office every day that I was going to the gym and one day I was walking by, he said he'd noticed me, and one day I was walking by, and he said he was gonna just get up and come out and introduce himself to me. So he came out of the building, I didn't know, I was on my way walking to the store, one of the grocery stores that's near our, our building, our um, business buildings, office buildings, and he came up to me and introduced himself and asked me if I would like to go have a cup of coffee, even though he didn't drink coffee, and I said, looked at him, to kind of sized him up, you know how we do, ladies. You know, mm -hmm, yeah, he's got, he's got a nice smile. Okay, let me see his teeth. Okay, well, his shoes look good. All right, mm, he smells, smells pretty good. <laughs> and next thing you know, you know, I think it was like a week or so later, we were having coffee, and the rest is history. 
Um, yeah, so you know how you just, you're around someone and you just feel kind of like you've known them for forever? Kind of feel like I've known them for a long time. We just, we just hit it off really well. So that's all I can really say about that. I'm just enjoying, you know, each day and just hoping that things just keep getting better and better and we just keep getting to know each other and keep um, just adoring each other the way that we do. So yeah, any other questions about that? Leave them in the comments section below. Yeah, let me know. Um, if you have any other questions about that? Maybe, I mean, he is like a ham, okay? He is way more extroverted than I am. A lot more outgoing. I'm not sure if he would ever come on in a video with me though. Like he did karaoke a couple weeks back for one of his friend's birthdays. We were all out having a great time. And he got up and did karaoke, the Beastie Boys. <laughs> And he was performing and I recorded some of it. So, and he was okay with that. So maybe he might want to come on, on camera at some point. And if he does, you guys will see him and you, I'll introduce you to him. But he is, I feel like he's way more extroverted than I am. Uh, so I kind of feel like he would be a natural in front of the camera. But anyway, he probably would end up teasing me though. Cause he likes to, he, he likes to joke. But you guys, I wanted to show you this. And of course I love to laugh, so you know that's right up my alley. I wanted to show you guys that I had, because I kept those shoes, I got the Stitch Fix bag. Why do you guys think I was like so excited about keeping this canvas bag? Because I had never kept any shoes from Stitch Fix before. So I was really excited to get this bag. And it's currently housing some other sandals that I have. These are from Just Fab. Super comfortable, but I had them in my bag. Had them in that bag so that I could travel with them. Okay, so here is what I got from Avon, you guys. So Avon is having a special in campaign. Is it campaign 17? Maybe. I'm so far behind on Avon right now. But this is campaign 17. And they are having a special. If you spend $40 in the brochure, you get this spa set from Plant Avon Planet Spa. And it comes with a body cream, heavenly hydration, body cream, dry oil body spray, and there's one more thing. Felt like there was three things. Hmm. Felt like there was three. Oh, maybe it was this dry oil, dry oil spray, the body cream. Oh, and there was a shower. There's a shower um, product that goes with it. Look at the invoice. It looks like something might be missing. Okay, yeah, there's a heavenly hydration body scrub. So there's the body scrub, the cream, and the oil spray that come in the set. And then with it, you also get this cosmetic bag. So let me just open this up so you guys can see it. It's really cute. I wasn't sure how big it would be, and this is great because this is big enough that I could use it for travel. See that? Oh, it's super cute. I love the design of it, and it's kind of that straw. I love it, and this kind of feels almost suede. You guys, this is really, really, really nice. So if you're at all on the fence about that set, rest assured, it is very, very nice. And I'm gonna have to call them because I'm missing my scrub. So the other thing that I purchased was, of course my Magic Face Primer. Keeps me from being too oily. It's colorless, translucent. Um, love this stuff. Oh, maybe it's campaign 16. So that's what campaign 16 looks like. I also picked up, because the mosquitoes have been loving me so much, the original Skin So Soft hand cream so I can carry this around in my purse and apply it and repel some of those bugs. And then I'm also gonna be using the um, creamy body wash in the original scent. So you can either do this, which repels the mosquitoes, 
or you can go ahead and go all the way in and get the um, the bug spray. That also works really, really well. I will leave links to my e-store and everything down in the comment, down in the description box, I should say. I'm so bummed, though, that the, that the scrub isn't in here after all that. Anyway, and the last thing I picked up was the a lightweight everyday cardigan. You know how it's really cold? It can be really cold in the office at work. I figured I have a black cardigan. I figured it'd be nice to have a cream cardigan as well. And this one seems super duper cute. And I'll have to take some pictures of it. I'm going to make a commitment to um, start doing my outfits of the day. I know I've said this before, but I really do need to just set my camera up and just be ready for it. But this is a, very, a longer cardigan. It's got, it's high-low. So it's a little bit higher in the front than it is in the back. And it's got buttons. And it's V-neck. But I figured this would be nice for in the office just to have something over my shoulders to keep me a little bit warm when the weather is. It's so weird that when you put a certain color up, it changes the um, the lighting. Um, the key, the uh, buttonholes on this sweater are definitely tight. So this is the cardigan, and I don't really have on the right outfit to really show it off well. I should have planned better. But this is it. So, yeah. I'm gonna back up a little bit. So that's the cards again. I have a skirt on today. Um, but yeah, you can button it like so. Or, if you wanted to, just leave it open. But yeah, it's got a nice weight to it. Um, I believe it's $24.99 for the misses and $29.99 for the women's sizes. But um, this is a size small, so it's a bit oversized. And um, yeah, it's exactly what I was looking for. And I'm happy with it. So I'm going to leave links to my e-store in the comment section below, along with the description of everything that I've purchased and um, including the code for the um, buy 40 get um, that set for i think it's spend 40 dollars and get the set for 20 something like that or maybe it's free that will all be in the description box below let me know if you have any questions if you have any um any comments at all leave them in the comment section below i'd be happy to you know always entertain those comments and um do respond to all the comments as well. I am looking forward to getting back to Faith Fridays. I'm going to start recording those again. A lot of things have been bubbling up for me and I'm really excited to share some of those things with you all. I had a really, really great conversation with a friend of mine a couple weeks ago. That's almost like a sister. And we talked a little bit about faith and my journey and some of the things I've experienced and what I've been going through and, um, so I want to share those with you, and I will plan to do that. So until next time, stay tuned, stay positive, stay on budget, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.